I'm uh, Chad Rigglesworth, teach English at St. Jerome's University. Uh, this morning, had some ham and eggs for breakfast, actually. One of the most fundamental things I think about a story is there's something um, inherently human about it, that we tell each other stories to help us as individuals and as a community of people make sense of the world to humanize it in a certain sense, to take the, the randomness of everyday events and we order it in such a way that it starts to cohere right? and we're responding to something. One of the interesting things is that when we encounter a work of art, be it a poem, a painting, a piece of music, that that work of art has its own, for lack of a better phrase, being in the world. Maybe it's on a library bookshelf or it's an old film that everyone knows about but is suddenly new to you. Right, that moment of revelation um, is the awakening of what I would call something dialogical or a conversation, an encounter. Um, and it has the capacity, when we listen, um, to alter how we think of ourselves, other people, how we inhabit the world. One of the first things that I encourage students to do is write in the book. It's a record of your thoughts, so to speak, a, a, a dialogue with, with what you're reading. Why we do that that's a big question. I don't even know if I can answer that. It kind of get, you're getting into some intangibles. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes is a statement from uh, the novelist and essayist Marilyn Robinson, where she talks about the sort of gift of a human being being awakened to their sense of radical singularity, that there is no other you in a sense. An encounter with a work of art, in many ways, can awaken that when you read a poem, the poem is in fact addressing you. Part of being a charitable, responsible, sincere reader, I think, is actually listening. 